German's great production secret for authentic jerk. All right, guess what? I'm getting ready to make some real delicious J and S authentic German's grilled sweet wood jerk pork. Did I say that? Authentic, yes. So I went on YouTube to try to find if, if there's anyone out there who has mastered the authentic way of doing delicious jerk pork original way but guess what i can't find one <laughs> i was going to do the top 10 jerk pork recipe authentic jerk pork recipe that i see on youtube but guess what i only can find five that come halfway they are missing a lot of steps and sometimes they put too much in there so guess what these are the best best five i've seen so far so i'm going to be re uh, reviewing these five and telling you about i'm just trying to narrow it down for you there's so many recipes on youtube how you know that you're tasting the right one <laughs> it's kind of like i go to a concert and expecting the real artists who i well expected to show up and a lookalike shows up <laughs> i know years ago i went to watch in indianapolis the michael jackson concert and a lookalike showed up man the guy put on a great show he did the moonwalk perfectly Guess what? It wasn't Michael Jackson. Jerk is the same. If you haven't been to Boston Bay, Jamaica, if you haven't been to Portland, Jamaica, if you haven't been to St. Catherine area, like places, and you have, you know, like um, if you haven't been to Walker's Wood up there in Monique, if you haven't been to Linstead, section of Linstead up there, you don't know what real delicious jerk pork tastes like. Man, it's so good. I'm not looking for a rendition of jerk, no sir. I'm not looking for a spin off jerk, no sir. I'm not looking for oven jerk, no sir. I'm not looking for brown stew jerk, no sir. I'm not looking for pot roast jerk, no sir. I'm not looking for oven um, um, air fried jerk, no sir. I'm not looking for um, jerk pork boiling seasoned water, no sir. I'm looking for the real authentic way, like how my father taught me. He was taught by the Maroons that he perfected it and we smoked it over with sweet wood and a combination of woods and we season it and put it straight on the fire and it came out soft and suckling with crackling and brown and brilliant and we don't put any brown in either <laughs> can you do it that's what i'm looking for i'm finding the best of the best i'm trying to find a moita of jerk i'm trying to find a don perian of jerk i'm trying to find a usain bolt of jerk I'm all about jerk. Jerk one's great product and seek it off authentic jerk. And later on, I'm going to be doing the top 10 jerk authentic way of doing jerk chicken on YouTube. The top 10 recipes that I found out there. So guess what? I'm the ambassador of jerk. <laughs> I'm the jerkologist. Call me what it is. But I know about jerk. Jerk man's good production, secret of authentic jerk. You think you know, but guess what? I thought you know, but you don't know. <laughs> we got the pork, chicken, the fish, lobster, festival, roast bread, food, sweet potato, roast yam. Oh, but the other Boston jerk is down there, right? Huh? The other Boston jerk is down there. But it's the original Boston jerk. Oh, okay. All right, before I mention the top five, the top five jerk, authentic jerk pork recipe that I see on YouTube, what qualifies the jerk to be authentic? I, mean, I am going to tell you right now. First, you must have the foundation, the foundation seasoning incorporated in your seasoning. You must have salt, scotch bonnet pepper, or allspice, which is the English name, or, or pimento, which is the Spanish name. I wish I knew the Italian name or the maroon name, but that was lost. Anyway, you must have these three main ingredients. Without these, it's not jerk. Next, you need thick meat. You need um, pork shoulder, or pork butt, or the whole hog. That's how we used to do it. We used to the, bay, the bone, the whole hog. I see they use slices. Even in the top five, they use pork slices. That is out, though, you know, they, they really um, did it on a small scale, so they get away with it. But if you use slices, I'm going to tell you why you don't use slices, because pork, um, real authentic jerk is smoked um, for at least four, five, even up to eight hours. And if you use slices, they usually dry out. I'm going to tell you. So guess what? Best, best thing to use is thick meats, what you debone. Next, you must use thick wood. You must use thick woods. If you use charcoal alone, you're out. 
business if you use a um, pimento charcoal may you be get away with it but you must use fake woods even in this top five they use little sticks with a lot of space in there no you have to you have thick wood that covers all the grid that doesn't allow that heat to come up so it keeps it nice and moist i'm telling you this is the way how we do it the authentic way so that that all that and, you have, and one of the best way to use it is to use green woods I'm telling you this is the best way to make it real authentic but guess what they, you, you don't have these available uh, probably in the United States here or maybe even parts of Jamaica it's hard to find them and that is why a lot of persons don't do authentic dribble yes but they came close you gotta give it up to them like and subscribe and support all of them but let's go it and let's do it top five jerk poker speed that I see on YouTube let's do it Number four. All right, guess what? I almost didn't put this one in the top four because, man, um, there's some stuff he added, like uh, we don't put in there like um, caramel brown and powder. And um, there's another critical thing that he missed. Oh my God! And is wood. You need wood to make it real authentic. I mean, guess what? I know he's probably not trying to make a uh, real authentic jerk pork or, You know, he don't have the wood, that sweet wood, the milk plum, coffee stick, uh, pimento wood and all that stuff in America here. But man, you, there's woods over here. You need wood, wood to make authentic jerk. But I mean, again, man, he's just trying to create a really delicious, um, his way, uh, his rendition of um, jerk pork which uh, you know I know would be very delicious but um, you know and he didn't say that he was creating an authentic jerk so anyway he just said he's making jerk pork so you know but I'm just saying man it would make it more flavorful if you just add some wood in the fire instead of just pure dead charcoal you need some flavor woods and if you don't know where to get um, flavor woods Go and check out my um, video, my blog on um, um, Jerkwood USA. And this will give you an idea of what type of wood you can do to make your jerk more excited, more flavorful, close to the original style. Might not be 100%, but you know, it's up there. So anyway, Chef McLean, number five. So let's, um, sorry, number four. I could not find five. <laughs> I thought I could find five, but I could only find four. So anyway, let's go on. Number three. All right, now we start to really get down, really get down into the authentic flavor. And this young lady, wow, beautiful voice. And she got the main ingredients. She got the scotch bonnet pepper. She got the um, salt, she got the pimento. Um, the only thing, man, I wish she could have used thicker woods, man. She got the incidence stick and these sticks, man. If you have it smoking for a while, they burn very really fast. What the jerk man will do, they will turn the woods. You know, when one side get burned, the thick woods, they will turn it so the green side goes down and dampen that heat. But yeah, the only thing is the incidence wood. I wish she could also have wood in the fire. She got that dead, um charcoal wood oh man but you know she's just doing it on a small scale and she did a great job you gotta give it up for Raquel if you follow her recipe like and subscribe and follow her recipes and you should get a real nice um authentic jerk only thing I said thicker woods guys I can't stress it enough you need thick woods you need that salt that um, scotch bonnet pepper um, allspice uh, pimento the Spanish name allspice the English name and you need wood these are the main ingredients to get it real authentic try not to use sticks try not to use chips and if you put berries in the fire that is out so anyway give it up to Raquel like and subscribe and let's go on number two Oh my God, now we're getting real down, real, really down into the flavors and this next recipe, oh my God, the guy almost got it, almost got it, oh man, but um, he got the seasoning, he got the, um, the woods, 
Um, the only thing, oh my God. I mean, he is using one of the best, best um, dry season out there. And if you haven't seen my um, my top 10 jerk season in the supermarket, go and, and watch it. And the only season I know, and not by my choice, by everybody's choice, that Beak Walker's would was Iron Spice. And he's using Iron Spice dry rub. Now, I have not done the reviews on dry rub yet. But I know Iron Spice is really good. And he used the dry season. The only thing I wish he didn't blend it, if he just rubbed it into the arm. Um, because one of the authentic ways of doing um, jerk pork is to dry, rub the dry rub first into the season and then use the wet rub. But man, he still did that good technique. He put it in there and he really seasoned up. And man, and then he marinated it for four days, which is excellent. A lot of persons just marinate overnight. That's chicken. When it comes to pork, marinate it for at least four days or even a week. Oh my god, they're gonna get a real flip. But then this video is proof to show you that pimento sticks, which we found out years ago, is not straight. A lot of those sticks on the top of the grid is not pimento stick or pimento woods, not straight. But then he uses incy vincy little piece of sticks again. You need to put use the thick woods, you need to get the milk plum, the coffee sticks, but again, you have to be careful. Um, what type of wood you use go and check out my video on um, um, Secret for authentic jerk and I'm going to post it right here so you can look for this video and It will teach you about the woods, but yes, he almost got it. He on the way man It's one of the best ones I've seen so far um, recipes of authenticity Got a lot of wood. I guess he have it in his backyard. I'm not sure But man, he needs to know about these other woods what you put on the top Pimento wood, I'm going to tell you a secret, goes into the fire. You know, most of the pimento, uh, the sticks on the top are not pimento wood. If you can find a straight pimento, that's good. But man, this guy got it, man. He almost, man, went all the way. But man, I just want to give it up to this guy right here. Um, he did a really excellent job. So give it up to proud Jamaican. I mean, he should be proud of himself. Proud of himself. And, but next time you use thicker meats, I want you to do a diff another video with thicker meats, thicker woods. And oh my God, he almost got it. Then he put all, he, he, he marinated for four days and he put it in that water to boil it. No, put it straight on the wood. I mean, he had the technique, but the boiling process, get rid of that boiling process. Put it straight on the wood. You got it, buddy. I mean, almost got it, man. <laughs> the only time you boil a pork is when it's a old hog. You can ask my girl Debbie. But don't, if you have sliced pork, you don't need to boil it, man. Get out of that. That's a, that's for all apprentice, man. But yeah, this guy got it, man. Um, I'm proud of him and like him, subscribe, support his video. Um, try his recipe, you can't fail. And he is number two. I mean, number two, yep, number two. And uh, this is one of the best one I've seen so far. And trust me, but let's go on. <laughs> oh my God, he's great. All right, before I mention the number one authentic way of doing jerk pork that I see on YouTube, go and check this article that I see on Google. Trust me, you need to check it out. It's the uh, brief history of jerk pork these are journals written by persons way back in the days they actually saw a person doing it and they wrote it down so go and check it out if you really need some dna if you really need to know how to do authentic pork go and check this out. all right next for real succulents real succulent jerk pork you need to watch this video by oh, my girl Debbie from Dona Yard. Yes, she got some real secrets, trust me, of making of how to make your jerk pork succulent. And I'm going to give you a hint it's not the pressure cooker. <laughs> so go and check out Debbie from Dona Yard. She got some real DNA. Go and check her out. 
all right so the next video is proof that real authentic jerk is not boiling season water hear it from the mouth of an experienced chef chef tia from up there at the mystic hill restaurant and trust me you need to go and watch this video by soy living in a van for um, street food go and watch that listen to what she's saying and uh, for all those people boiling in season water come on that is really for the apprentice that's as if he have an old hog ask my girl debbie and there's a reason why they boil it they don't usually do it but and it's a fast thing too but anyway go and um watch that video and um that's another secret so let's go on all right so this next video did a really great um video on the woods you need to check out the food boss yes go and check out this video that i show you right here food boss this guy nailed it and trust me go and watch if you really want to know about the woods finally this video have the secret right in your face oh my god i can't believe it's out there but guess what if you don't have the dna you're probably going to miss it and you need to check out this video the spice of life oh my god I give you a hint, it's close to the end. The real men doing it back then, the real Boston men doing it back there, right in front of your face. But man, if you're not into the jerk, if you're not a jerkologist, you're not a jerk pit master, you're probably going to miss it. But go and check out the spice of life. And the number one, God. Authentic jerk pork recipe on YouTube that I've seen. You gotta give it up to Chef Andrew. Oh my God. And he got all the formula. He got the young pig. He got the woods. He got the dry rub, the wet rub. Man, he got the pimento leaves. Man, this is the best one I've seen so far on YouTube. Oh my God, go and check it out on Mark Wayne's um, blog. Mark Wayne, go and check out his blog. Trust me, I, I'll show you right here. Go and check out this video and trust me he got it man he got the dna yes so go and check it out and um if you know of a video that is number if you think um that i didn't cover put it in the comment below i'll check it out and i'll do a part two and if you have a really if you think you know how to do real authentic jerk go and post your video it's very important i'm going to tell you why a lot of people are doing uh, authentic jerk pork the wrong way and trust me they're telling a lot of people that it's authentic jerk and not everybody can make it to Jamaica you know not everybody's gonna be able to taste it believe me we need to take a hold of all of all the blessings we have all the um, ingredients and music and everything they're trying to take over everything man so we got them set it straight and let them know what real authenticity is so anyway like and subscribe and check out that video What is the original Boston jerk? Oh.